Your blood type isn't just a medical label on a chart. It's a biological signature written in the language of evolution. It determines who you can safely donate to, who can save your life, and even how your body reacts to infection, diet, and disease. But what most people don't realize is that your blood type also carries invisible advantages, traces of ancient survival strategies embedded in your DNA. From the hunters of the Paleolithic world to the farmers who built the first civilizations, each blood type evolved to face a specific set of environmental and microbial challenges. The hidden story of your blood type is the story of human adaptation itself. In this video, we'll uncover the evolutionary purpose, medical importance, and hidden benefits behind every single blood group, O, A, B, and AB, both positive and negative. You'll see how something as small as a molecule on a red blood cell shaped the survival of entire populations and still influences your health today. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the Mental Dose channel and join our Telegram community, where you'll get early access to new videos and insights on personal and spiritual growth. Now, let's begin with the one that started it all, the type that has silently shaped humanity for tens of thousands of years. O positive the universal stabilizer. A positive is the most common blood type in the world, found in roughly four out of every 10 people. Its dominance gives it enormous medical importance. A single unit of O positive blood can be transfused into any RH positive patient, whether they are A, B, AB or O themselves. In emergencies, when there's no time for testing, doctors often reach first for O positive, its abundance has made it the backbone of global blood donation systems. Hospitals rely on O-positive donors to keep supplies steady. But beyond its medical value, type O carries deep evolutionary roots. The absence of A and B antigens helps protect against Plasmodium falciparum, the parasite responsible for the deadliest form of malaria. People with O-blood are less likely to experience the severe clumping form of this disease. This same immune simplicity may have favored early hunter-gatherers. Type O individuals show immune traits suited to protein-rich diets and frequent exposure to wild pathogens, the microbial world of early humanity. Yet the trade-off exists. That same simplicity makes O carriers more vulnerable to infections like cholera and norovirus. Additionally, O types tend to have lower levels of clotting factors such as von Willebrand factor, a built-in protection against heart attacks but also a slight risk of bleeding complications. A positive, the adaptive farmer. A positive is the second most common blood type worldwide, carried by roughly one in three people. Its red cells express A antigens along with the RH factor, allowing safe transfusions from both A and O positive donors. Historically, the A antigen is associated with the rise of agriculture. As humans moved from roaming the plains to living in dense, settled communities, new bacterial infections emerged. The A antigen provided an advantage, a stronger, more targeted immune response to these pathogens. This immune sensitivity helped early farmers survive in crowded environments, but came with a price, a higher risk of clotting disorders and certain cardiovascular diseases. In modern times, a positive individual still show differences in how their immune systems respond to inflammation. The same antigen that once offered protection against ancient infections now influences how their bodies react to stress, disease, and even certain cancers. It's a reminder that what helped our ancestors survive can also define the limits of our health today. B positive, the balanced nomad. B positive blood found in about 10% of the population tells a story of movement and diversity. This type is especially common in parts of Asia and the Middle East, less so in the West a clue to ancient migrations and the selective pressures of geography. The B antigen changes the surface of red blood cells in ways that affect how pathogens attach and invade. In some regions, this provided resistance to local infections, while in others, it offered no advantage at all. Over thousands of years, this uneven survival pressure sculpted its global distribution. Metabolically, some studies suggest that B carriers process fats and carbohydrates differently, reflecting adaptations to varied diets across early civilizations. In medicine, B positive individuals can receive blood from B and O donors, not as universal as O types, but flexible enough to avoid scarcity in most populations. 
In evolutionary terms, Type B is a biological record of the nomadic era, an antigen born from travel, trade, and genetic exchange across continents. AB positive, the universal recipient. AB positive is the rarest of the major positive blood types, found in fewer than 5% of people worldwide. Its red cells display both A and B antigens along with the RH factor, making it the only type that can safely receive blood from all others. In medicine, AB positive patients are the universal recipients. Their immune systems recognize every other antigen as acceptable. But this inclusivity comes at a cost. The same dual antigen system linked to transfusion flexibility also correlates with higher risks of certain vascular and clotting disorders. Evolutionarily, AB is also the youngest blood type, appearing only a few thousand years ago when populations carrying A and B began to intermix. AB positive is therefore a genetic symbol of unity, a rare fusion of two ancient immune systems. It represents both the biological blending of early human lineages and the ultimate compatibility within modern medicine. Before we move on to the negative blood groups, if this video is helping you see things more clearly, consider sharing it with someone who might need it too. And if you'd like to support thoughtful research-based content like this, you can click the thanks button below. Your support truly helps. Now let's continue. O negative, the universal donor. Less than 7% of people have O negative blood, yet it's one of the most critical blood types in medicine. Its red blood cells have no A, B or RH antigens, making them compatible with everyone. O negative is the universal donor for red cell transfusions, the first choice when lives hang in the balance and there's no time to test blood types. This total antigen absence also makes O negative rare in nature. Evolutionarily, it's unusual for humans to lack all three major markers. The result is a type that triggers almost no immune reaction during transfusions, but also faces unique vulnerabilities, including higher susceptibility to cholera and norovirus, like other O types. For O negative mothers, pregnancy can pose challenges if the baby inherits an RH positive factor from the father, potentially causing hemolytic disease of the newborn. Modern medicine prevents this, but historically it shaped survival patterns. Despite its rarity, O negative remains humanity's silent guardian, a genetic minority that saves countless lives every single day. A negative, the rare defender. A negative is among the rarest blood types, found in less than 2% of the global population. It carries the A antigen but lacks the RH factor, narrowing transfusion compatibility to only A negative and O negative donors. This scarcity makes every A negative donation crucial, especially for emergencies where compatibility is life or death. From an evolutionary lens, a negative combines strong bacterial defenses with the reproductive complications caused by the absence of RH. In ancient times, these immune advantages may have balanced the risks of pregnancy loss, shaping small but resilient genetic lineages. Today, a negative remains a medically delicate type, rare, valuable and closely monitored in hospitals around the world. B negative, the selective survivor. B negative is even rarer, found in only about 1% of the global population. Its red cells express the B antigen but lack RH, which limits transfusions to B negative and O negative donors. Its global distribution reveals ancient patterns of isolation. Populations in Central Asia and parts of the Middle East still show higher concentrations of B negative, while it remains scarce elsewhere. The rarity of this type reflects both migration bottlenecks and natural selection acting differently across human groups. Studies suggest B carriers may have distinctive immune responses, offering protection from some bacterial infections while increasing vulnerability to others. For modern medicine, every unit of B negative blood is precious, reserved for the few who can safely receive it. AB negative, the rarest of all. AB negative is the rarest blood type on Earth, found in less than 0.5% of people. Its red cells carry both A and B antigens, but no RH factor, making it the ultimate rarity among human phenotypes. Despite its scarcity, AB negative holds a special place in medicine. Its plasma can be given to any blood type, making it the universal plasma donor. This gives AB negative donors an outsized role in saving lives, 
even though their own transfusion options are extremely limited. Evolutionarily, AB negative represents the most recent and unusual combination of human antigens, a true genetic outlier that encapsulates millennia of mixing between ancient populations. Its existence reminds us that even in biology, diversity is both fragile and invaluable. Every blood type carries a story of adaptation, migration and survival. These microscopic differences determined who lived through ancient plagues, who thrived in new climates and how humanity diversified across the planet. Your blood type is more than a category. It's an inheritance from thousands of generations who fought to survive. The hidden advantages in your blood are not random. They're proof that evolution leaves its mark in every drop that runs through your veins. If you've ever wondered what makes you unique, your blood type is one of the oldest answers written in your biology. Don't just watch the world, understand it.